come to our attention that a mysterious force is loose. The mysteries of creation are there. Up in the sky? Up in the sky. It's not an easy skill to learn. I've been practicing it for many years. So what is going on everybody, it's your favorite ninja, SetsBK1 from Ninja Nation Gaming, here with another Infinite Warfare Zombies Shaolin Shuffle video. Now today is an exciting day, if you guys don't know, we've been waiting for a full month until June 6th, yes today is June 6th, to solve this David Savage billion dollar treasure hunt easter egg for this uh, troll card. Now it has been solved and this is going to be a tutorial and a guide for you guys to get that calling card yourself. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Uh, if you guys do enjoy it, please do feel free to leave a like on it and uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, yeah, so let's get started. First things first, to start this, if you guys never did any of the ciphers, we're going to walk through this step by step, alright? So you guys got to go around and find the David Savage radio. There's radios in 13 locations around the map, which I'm going to show you every single location. And you got to find the David Savage one. So I've had one of my teammates actually go find that, but I'm going to show you the radio locations in case you don't know. There's one back here behind this pallet. There's another radio location right here in this garbage can there's another radio location right here in heebie-jeebies you can't really see it but it's behind the speaker now none of these are actually the david savage radio so i'm not going to hit any of them but i'm just going to show you these locations another one's right here by this tire then we're going to keep going we're going to go by racing stripes and there's going to be one right here by these pallets again now there's no radios in these locations but i will show you guys in case you guys do get these locations in your game there's one location right here on top there's another location inside the garbage can right here before this little pipe there's another location right here as you drop down i'm going to keep going now we got to go head into the disco i'm going to show you guys the locations in the disco and uh, what you want to do is you want to find the radio that talks about the eccentric billionaire David Savage. So I know exactly where it is, but I'm going to show you guys the locations. There's one right here in this garbage can. Um, there's also another one. I can't open that door, so I got to go the opposite way. But I'm going to show you guys these locations while I'm here. There is another location down here in this pipe area. You will see a radio sometimes. It's not there though. Uh, there is another location right over here by Jug, which you can see the radio is there. And then there is the David Savage uh, radio. There are two locations that I didn't show you guys. I'm going to head over that way now. And uh, I'm going to click on the David Savage one, and you need to click on that radio in order to activate the first cipher, which is the Savage Industries clock cipher. And uh, while we go through this, I'm going to explain to you guys what these ciphers decode to. So this way you guys get a better understanding of what this Easter egg is all about. But then again, here is the other location that I missed before, which is this trash can. It's usually behind this trash can right there. And then there is this location right over here, which is the David Savage radio. So all you guys got to do is click on it and we're going to listen up. The tune that can fluctuate the heart and send the mind into earth. Okay. So. He hit a massive treasure in the city. So that is the first clue to let you guys know that you're on to something. So now we're going to go all the way over to the top of the disco. And we're going to start the first cipher. Now there's a few steps to this easter egg, but once you guys get these ciphers, you it automatically saves in your game. So you don't have to actually do this, they'll activate in every game, no matter what, whether you did the radios or not. So we're going to go up to the roof right now. Oh, by the way, there are locations on the roof, which are right here. There's one location right there, 
and then there's another radio location right there in case you guys get those but now you have to come up to this clock hold square on it and the cipher is gonna pop up now this is the first cipher and this cipher is gonna decode to my name is David Savage you seek my treasure good luck finding it among all the garbage in the city so you gotta look at that fully once it ends it is automatically saved in your game and it lets you know that you've already done this step so now we're gonna go down this is the second actual step of this Easter egg and uh, other than just looking at ciphers this is the last actual step you need to do so we're gonna have to go around all the garbage cans and we're gonna have to press square on the garbage cans you guys are gonna hear a little ruffling noises all these garbage cans are located downstairs in the train stations. So first one is here, listen up. You guys heard the papers move around and stuff, that's one. So this is gonna be two. We're gonna do three. Four. There's another one by double tap. Five, okay, that's five garbage cans in this area so now we got to go over to spawn area we're gonna run and head that way and there I believe are seven in spawn which make a total of 12 garbage cans so we're gonna go in that one's not it that's six that's seven eight now I'm gonna back up so I don't activate this cipher because there is one behind me nine ten eleven twelve okay so that should activate your second cipher which is located right here in the alley next to heebie-jeebies you're gonna want to come right over this way and turn and see this cipher right here so now this cipher reads out I can't believe you looked in all this trash in the city my treasure isn't even that good stop just stop so to move on to the next step just make sure that the cipher saves in your game so you have to watch the full thing and now the next step is to go over by racing stripes there is this stop sign right across the electric bridge that gives you your third cipher and all you gotta do is come over here and look at it now this is the third cipher and this reads out i guess you are going to continue this insane quest well as my father always said onwards and upwards so again if you guys are doing this for the first time make sure you watch that full cipher make sure somebody is holding a zombie for you and the next location that you're gonna wanna go to is inside the disco area. So we're gonna make our way over there now. And this is gonna be the fourth cipher. Um, let's finish this up and then we're gonna move on to the fifth cipher. Uh, let's go downstairs, downstairs, downstairs. Okay, now you're gonna come over by this blue room right here in the disco. And you're gonna look up. This is gonna give you your other cipher right there. And this one reads out <clears throat> I bet you are wondering why I'm giving away my fortune. Well, to tell you that, I would have to go back to where it all began. <clears throat> so, again, if you're doing this for the first time, make sure you watch the full cipher, make it save in your game. And now we're gonna go back to where it all began, which is the spawn room. That's the one that I was trying to avoid. So we're gonna make our way down here. I'm gonna look towards the floor because we have another cipher that's by Jug, but we don't have to activate that yet. Um, these do save in your game. So uh, if you did activate it already, if you just look at it, it will activate. But we got this one right here. I probably activated it without knowing. But there's usually a cipher right there on the wall. Um, it is easy, like I said, if you stand anywhere near it or aim in that direction, the cipher will automatically activate. But this cipher reads out, when I was young, I was a gifted singer. 
I never bathed and I smell awful, but I had a great set of pipes. Now in this cipher, there are some leftover letters which spell out midnight. And this jug cipher, as you guys know, is a time-based cipher. So the Savage Industries clock on the roof is a real time clock. So only at midnight can you activate this cipher. So only at midnight can you activate this cipher, but this is located right here on the wall by Jug. And this cipher reads out, well, you have done well to make it this far. There's only one more step. To find a king's ransom, you must first find a king. Best of luck. Now, this also included some extra letters, which had the whole community stumped. And uh, it was basically like a waiting game. This one had extra letters that spelt out June 6th. So it is actually June 6th today. And this has been solved, so the next and final place you want to go to is down in the Rat King's Lair. You're going to want to go to this throne right here. And there's the sixth and final, well, the seventh and final cipher. This has not been decoded by myself yet, but I'm pretty sure it says something like, Congratulations, you have uh, completed this billion dollar treasure hunt. Blah, 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 blah. And now you get your calling card. So there we go. The cipher is active. Now we're not sure if this does um, only happen on June 6th, but it is June 6th today. And as you can see, there's the picture of David Savage with the cat that you guys all know from uh, Raven the Redwoods. And that is it, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, you should now have the troll calling card in your inventory when you leave the game you should be able to equip that calling card i hope this actually helped any of you guys out if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to slap a like on it a uh, big shout out to my friends who helped me in this split rap faye and my boy galvatron appreciate you guys i have been your favorite ninja sets bk1 from ninja nation gaming and i will see you all on the next video Ever since a youngin, caught up in the game, hustling while I'm screaming, fuck all of the fame, it's yep. useless. And I can get used to this, cause fuck as a youngin, so. I remember wasn't used to shit. Mm -hmm. I ain't trying to do features, just me featured me, cause yep. I don't need it. Honestly, all I just need is me. me. For my peoples and them labels, I just hope they could peace. Yep. Cause I'm about it, about it, until the day I'm underneath. But yep. I ain't bugging, I ain't thuggin', I'm just trying to eat. Some uh -huh. people clubbing, bitches fucking, I'm just ducking the deep. Boy. This isn't a competition, I ain't one to compete. Nah. I guess the story goes on until my mission's complete. <laughs>